Hello everybody, a warm welcome. I'm really looking forward to this out because we've got the perfect mix of Julia Watts and Indigo Blue. Put the two together, special things happen. I How are you? So. Oh, I'm good. Doesn't seem long since I was here. Oh, well, it was great to have you back. And you're here yeah. tomorrow as well. Here tomorrow as well, yeah. Good, good. Mm. Now, what we've got is, it's a kind of best of. We've got a beautiful collection of goodies from Indigo Blue. This is going to be a pick and mix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. So we've got uh, on the top row, we've got three uh, designs here, which are hairs, oh, um, and they're designed that. by H, um, who you may have heard uh, Lou uh, mention. Um, she's on the uh, Studio Light uh, design team, and um, last oh. year she did these beautiful um, uh, designs for Look. Indigo Blue. Lovely um, kind of. Uh, meandering floral kind of design through the hairs there this is gorgeous isn't it look at that that i mean that is such a beautiful inspiration mm, mm, does that stunning. tell a story yeah absolutely Lovely. stunning and that's on the concertina ragtime um yeah. journals that we've got on Which the show we've got coming up okay yeah so they've all got uh, well some of them have got sentiments on uh, yeah. as, as well okay i'll just give you the, the name yeah. so that is your tapestry hair then you've got your moon hair and then we have our home... Hair stargazer. Oh, sorry. Hey. <laughs> do you need glasses? How can you... Can you read that? Yeah. Could you read that? No. Then I do. Uh, <laughs> hair stargazer. Uh, no, I do, only know the name. That's do you want all. to turn it around? Because this it might be your first time seeing Indigo Blue. Have a look at this. We're talking red rubber, yeah. already pre-cut yeah, as well. pre-cut, mounted. Uh, obviously, you can see it's clinging to the laminate there. So, you you know, punch a couple of holes in it. You can store it in oh. um, a binder if you want yeah. to. Lovely. Okay, as we move so on. So we've got Winter is Coming. Now, yeah. uh, I launched that one in October for my first Indigo oh. Blue uh, show. Love that so tree. So you've got the tree, you've got uh, some script, um, you've also got uh, the grasses in there and mm -hmm. some toadstools. Oh, thank you. Just going to show you that. A little inspiration here, a little tag there. Oh, nice. Beautiful silhouette. So yeah. think about your backgrounds and yeah. just adding that little bit of detail. Yeah. Lovely. Then you've got uh, the first of two designs uh, from Mike Deakin. <laughs> uh, and you've got this one which is wild things and that just stunning stunning stamp it's 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 that kind of etched um um, detail, design, yeah. yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And then you've got your, your sentiment mm -hmm. there. If you don't do wild things when you're younger, you'll have nothing to smile about when you're old. Very true. Good. I like that. That's mm. quite poignant. Mm. Nice. Absolutely. Uh, and then going down uh, here, then yeah. we've got the second one uh, in the set, which is your uh, Never Surrender, which is a little um, hair in, in a car. So oh. uh, it follows on. So the trick is to never grow up. The trick is to never grow up and never surrender. I'm just going to pop that in. Now, how great. And I've got to open this up because you know our previous one. I've just found this inspiration. Yeah. They look, work together beautifully. Look at that. This is just amazing. It, it really is. Obviously, all the stamps and stencils have been, have been pulled in, but real work of art. I think these are fabulous. Awesome, those, two aren't they? those two postcards yeah. are ridiculously good. Yeah. But yeah. they really do showcase the detail that you're getting yeah. uh, in there. Yeah. Awesome, they really are. Okay. Mm. Um, and then we've got the uh, big butterfly number three. There obviously are mm. butterflies number one and two, but yeah. we've got that's number three, and it is a huge uh, stamp. It is the actual size that you're seeing there. Beautiful. Uh, then you've got calm and relax, uh, which is uh, a, a, like um, a negative background, if you like. So all that black area is what's going to be stamped and so your um your words and your detail um yeah. aren't stamped if you like if you see what i mean uh -huh. so, so there's that one yeah then we've got the orchids um yeah just several orchids there really beautiful floral stamp mm -hmm. and then finally we've got the uh, giant dragonfly who also has a uh, a bug a ladybug no. And you've also got a, an extra butterfly with it. Lovely. So that is your pick and mix. Oh, you can see the orchids just there. Mm. Sorry, I didn't. Yeah. So we have got one inspiration with the orchids, which is just there. You can see it. So do uh, you want to go through just a few examples using, I mean, look, have a look at this. This one's um, got pockets and things in it as well, this one. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Quite a few of these. Ones. I think these, these must have, uh, you can see quite a few of these oh, with the uh, journal. Using that silhouette yeah. coming through as well. Um, Butterfly. Yeah, that's a smaller version of the big one. Yeah. Um, oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So I think the ragtime journal has been out about the same time as the hair. Yeah. 
Very, very nice. Now we have got the Ragtime Journal coming up. I know I showed this to you uh, a few moments ago, but I just want to pull that up again. Just have a look at this postcard of these two together and it really gives you an idea of the realism that you were getting with uh, that. I mean I think that's phenomenal. Mm. I mean obviously with the uh, tapestry hair, the moon hair and the stargazer hair yeah. plus these two as well, the wild things and the never surrender, you've got kind of fun and uh, also sophisticated Easter cards yeah. um, there in the making if They're you like. Instant illustrations They're and that's beautiful. the sense that they really, You're having get. a bit of trouble there. Yes. <laughs> Right, we'll pop that down. Uh, all right, details on the screen. Yes, now look, it's a pick and mix. <laughs> 19.99 your price. So you're saving uh, 19.19. Sorry, your price. You're saving 4.79, but you get to pick any two. What would you be popping in your basket? Should we have a little look? Out of interest, Julia, what would you be popping in your basket? I would be taking Wild Things and Never Surrender. I you know what that I, I agree. Mm, I love them. I love them when they came out, and I and uh, yeah, I'm def definitely chuffed. I could just uh, stamp them out and just have them just just to look at because they're yeah. so beautiful. Uh, instant. I mean, they're characters, but they look like they're illustration taken from a book. Yeah. Yeah. They are absolutely yeah. stunning, they really are. Uh, something else that you're going to fall in love with, we've got A5 now, these are options, we'll go through each option. Okay. A5 stamped, $16.99. Mm. This that, is very good. That is very good, yeah, as you can see, they're normally $19.99. So I um, apologise, we don't have many samples of this, uh, these um, okay. sets, because uh, this show has been put together quite quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we did use this one, actually, on the Dirty Weekend uh, mm -hmm. that we did in Brighton with Leone. Oh. Now, I heard that you had a lot of fun on your Dirty we Weekend. We did, we did. And you can just see the mandala mm -hmm. just on the side of my one there, just mm -hmm. here. So you don't need to colour in the whole oh, thing. So it's only nice. a half mandala. Yeah. So you could, you could, you know, kind of you do it, it twice if you hole. wanted yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Okay, that's one option. Uh, Sixteen ninety nine is your price. That's your floral fantasy as we move on. So We've this is your, um, what's it, Discover, Discover Your Passion. Your passion. So this is lots of uh, quite bold um, sentiments. Oh, but they're, they're, they're sort of stylized as well. Yeah, they are. So uh, love to create there. Discover your passion. Nice, that's good. Let your soul and, and spirit yep. fly. So re really, really nice. I like those a lot. Okay. Uh, and then as we move on, we've got... Well, now Alice too. we talk about having that sort of illustration mm. look. look. These are beautiful. There. I have stamped all these out. I haven't used them, but I have stamped them all out. So yeah. we, we might use these in the eight o'clock hour. And it's they're beautiful. It's worth talking about, Julia, the quality that you yeah. get with Indigo Blue. Because yeah. the it's quality is absolutely first rate. And you'll, you'll know, f or many of you, if you've, if you've seen Indigo Blue um, shows, will know that if there's a fault in any of these, they get thrown out and the rest of the sheet goes into the goodie bags that Kay and Alpha bring to yeah. you once a year. So, you know, they do check the quality and, and th they are exceptional. Very nice. This 16, is a usable yeah, one. 16 99 is your price. 234-899, your item number. Uh, and that is your good times. Yeah. Good I times love, I love that number stamp in there. That, yeah. That's, that's, that's invaluable one. on its own. Oh. And then all the clocks there are going to work with the Alice. Oh, yeah. As your background. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. You make your own embellishments with that. Yeah. Uh, look, best way to really appreciate how good these are, we're going to be playing around with the stamps this hour. If you want to see anything, let us know. Let's jump onto the website and have a little look. Uh, loads of goodies you can shop ahead. We've got rice paper we're going to be featuring. We've also got the rag uh, paper in the mix as well. So have a little look, explore. We've got the gilding flakes, the flitter glue. We've also got paints for you as well, which we're going to be using. So if you do want to shop by brand, all you need to do is type in indigo blue and the rest is up to you. So, what are we going to be playing around with then, uh, Right, Julia? so we're going to make a version of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but we're going to do it in a different colour way. Yeah. Nice. So we're using the um, tapestry hair yeah. and the moon hair. Right. And then the uh, sentiment is from the stargazer hair. Okay. We've also got the winter is coming that's that's around the bottom there, mm -hmm. and then there's the sentiment which is from the uh, which one? This one, um, Brawl and Fantasy. It's got a bit of a like a spirit animal vibe going on. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. unusual, isn't it? Especially yeah. that circular one. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to be using a concertina ragtime journal. Now I know that. Um, 
when I think Lou brought these out, I think actually it, it was um, in January when she started the Journal in Journeys uh, thing that Indigo Blue do. Um, and this can be quite daunting because you've got one, two, three, four, five sides mm -hmm. either side. And I know on the dirty weekends, especially with Leone, we've been doing these ragtime jur uh, journals. And, and it's great if you've got somebody to show you what to do, but it can be. You look at this and you think, mm. what on earth am I going to do with that? Can I just show a, an example? Now, again, please don't be daunted no. by this, but this is just breaking it down. But it really shows you why these were so popular the first time we brought them, because instant journaling. So there's your front, and as you start opening up, and it is that Constantina journal, so yeah. you can imagine that on a mantelpiece as well. Look at that. So you can build up on a scene in the centre. Mm. And then you've got both sides, of course. Yeah. Oh, and this is nice, because if I just show you, there's the other side. In so you are, actually, you are actually, because you can use both sides, oh, you're getting the night. best value out of your Constantina journal to do it like that. That's your best value. That's actually really clever, because the whoever made this is kind of got one side day and the other side night very clever very clever very yeah clever. okay right but we're going to just we're going to uh, we're just going to tear it down we're going to just take so you can tear them down yeah yeah want. just take one one page out mm -hmm. tear it now you are getting four of them for 9.99 yeah. so four of the complete cons we're tearing it down we're now tearing it down. You're getting four. so 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 you can see by tearing it mm -hmm. we've we, we've still got a, a raggedy edge and then we've got the 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 um raggy edge that you get from them they're made from mm -hmm. old um uh, leftover bits from making t-shirts oh um so they are they're made in india they are handmade so um yeah, yeah. These are handmade. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. So, so, so this is what we're going to be working on. Now, you can gesso them if you want to. You don't need a lot of gesso if you're mm. going to do it, but we're not going to bother. For I mean, this. a cotton paper you normally pay a premium for, and I would imagine fantastic for your watercolours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You do have to remember though that it is textured, and mm -hmm. so your stamping isn't 100% perfect yeah. on it. Okay. So I tend to stamp detail stamps separately and pop yeah. them on. Fair that's, enough. That, that, that's just that's what I, I tend to do. Yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to um, add some background colour. Okay. There are lots of different ways of doing this. You can just just make it up as you go along. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up as I go along. Okay. So why have you wet the paper? I've wet the paper so that um, the paint will move around a little bit easier. So a bit of a wet and wet technique? Yeah. So we're using townhouse teal here. This mm -hmm. is one of the matte paints. Pick it up with a sponge and then I'm just going to go on and give it some colour. Mm-hmm. Not bothered about how good it is. Lovely. And then we're going to add a little bit of Park Lane as well. Mm -hmm. Just over, just, just to give it a little di different colour. And this is, again, a matte paint. You really get a sense of the quality of the papers, though, that cotton paper now, because you've, you've wet it, you've saturated it. It hasn't buckled. No. And I'm going to move it just around a bit, because it, it's yeah. a little bit intense in places. Okay. Nice. Because it, it can take loads of water. And that's a sign of quality. Yeah, yeah. You can see I'm taking loads of water yeah, to you it. Yeah, you're not, you're not afraid to no, get it wet? No, not at all. Right. Mm -hmm. Tidy up a little bit. Give it a blast. No, actually, I forgot. I should have picked that up onto my rice paper. But yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a blast to dry mm -hmm. it a little bit. Nice. Because we're going to put some... So because mm. it, it, they're matte paint, so I yeah. want to layer up the paint. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's wet, yeah. it's just going to all uh, merge together. So if you dry mm -hmm. it in between, then it'll start stacking. Because although I've watered it down to make it like a watercolour paint, yeah. once it's dry, it's like a proper acrylic. Okay. So it, 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 it's permanent. Yeah. Lovely. We are getting very biggy, uh, biggy. <laughs> We're getting very biggy. They're very busy for our rag paper. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of stencil work over the top. Okay. So I'm going to take some of the stencils that are on the, I think uh, they've been added to the end of the show. Uh, this one is um, uh, Basket Weave and it comes with uh, this one, which mm -hmm. I think is the Sea Urchin. Lovely. And it also comes with one I can't remember the name of, which is this one. So the Moroccan on, Tile? 
Yes, yes. So those three come mm -hmm. together. This is this is my favourite. This one. Nice. Uh, we have got them on our screen at the moment, and they are getting very busy. You're getting all three of those for ten forty nine seven four four double oh seven is the number. <laughs> Couldn't resist you. There. You just Couldn't dropped resist. into the uh, short corner. Eh? Yes. All the raptors are available. <laughs> so I'm taking some bluebell paint now. This yeah. is one of the translucent paints. Yeah. So that means that we, we'll be able to see some of the depth of colour that we've got underneath. Yeah. And I'm just going to add some of that through. It's the cheeky Julia pounce. Yeah, we're just, I'm pouncing because uh, we're still a little bit damp underneath. Okay. Just a suggestion of colour. Nice. And we'll take some in here as well. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Building it up, it's all about layers. And the layers are where you get your fun. Yeah. It, for me. That's what Lovely. I like best. And I know you, you are a big fan of the stencils. Love stencils. Yeah. Absolutely love them. They're, they're such a, they're an invaluable tool, really. A versatile medium. Let's actually let's go metallic. Let's, have, let's bring a bit green okay. in as well. So this think is about what paints you've got in your stash. We actually had a really busy uh, show. I had a happy hour deal earlier on where we had some great paints. You might have invested in those. Or got some indigo blue paints. You, yeah. know, you can use whatever you have in your stash. These, these are lovely. I mean, this is mm -hmm. one of the reasons I wanted to work with indigo blue is their paints are just oh. outstanding. You, now, what I would say is, Julia, you, you're in a very fortunate position that you could choose who you work with. Yeah. And you're working with some fantastic companies. I am. I'm very lucky. You really are. Yeah. Phil Martin, indigo blue. Yeah, yeah. So this is the lime sherbet. This is metallic. So we're just going to add a little bit mm. of that through there. Look at that. That's nice. yummy, isn't it? And Jill, I haven't worked with Kay in a while, but I have to say she's incredibly talented. Yeah. She really, she really, really is. is. And Indigo yeah. Blue, one thing you get, because she is a crafter, she you've got that perfect marriage of the creativity aspects. Okay, Kay's always looking to push new asp uh, design aspects for everyone, but very oh, usable. Yeah. But it's a quality, and it's something Jeez. you're saying with the paints, with uh, especially with the stamps. Indigo Blue have really built a reputation in the industry of offering absolute premium red rubber stamps. They have, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I agree with you there. Okay. Right, so just going to give that a blast as well yep. to dry. So you can see it's coming together. Yeah, nice. Totally different colour scheme to the one we had before. Mm -hmm. This is more of a cooler uh, feel to it because yeah. it's, you've got the blues. Lovely. Obviously, the greens are in the, the same kind of adjacent family. Yeah. To, um, to I'm the other so one. impressed by this cotton paper. Yeah, you can see it's not gone through. Any bits no. that are through are just me being mucky, but, but so see, you can work on the other side. They are seriously good quality papers. The rag papers are busy. Remember, you're getting four of the Constantina uh, rag out. How we, we, we describe them as albums or? Constantina journals. Journals, sorry, journals. That's yeah. what I was looking yeah. for. Yeah. So now we're going to do something that I haven't done before. Go on. Uh, on, on this, we're going to mm. actually stamp with a flitter glue and add Ooh. some a flitter glue border to it. We have got some flitter glue on this, the show. I might regret this, but we're, we'll see. <laughs> Julia, I, I've I like actually got a, it. I've got a good feeling. <laughs> so, anyone not used the flitter glue bef uh, before? Okay. Very good quality glue. Very good quality glue. What we're going to do mm -hmm. is we're going to get ourselves ready. Yeah. So, I'm taking the um, sort of grasses stamp mm -hmm. from the Winter is Coming set. Lovely. Just popping it on my block. Uh huh. And. Um, in the kit, you get uh, some fat foam. You also get your small uh, glitter glue. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, um, glitter, glitter glue. glue yeah. And you get uh, a choice of um, your flake. This is the uh, chariot of fire. Yeah. And you also get um, a scoochie. Oh, scoochie. Scoochie, yeah. yeah. So this is your kind of, that's going to burnish mm -hmm. it for nice. you. So I just want to show you here, you can see the three different colour options. So this is what you'll be going to be getting with each bundle. So at the top we have Chariots of Fire, which you can see there. So you're getting the glue, the spatula, the scoochie and the foam. And if I just... There's a lot in there and they're actually called sure mega flakes. Know. So they're not little tiny flakes, yeah. they're big pieces of flake in there. I, if I open this, is it going to spray you, everywhere? You'll see mine when I okay, open mine. Okay, alright, I won't open those. But there you can see that. Brilliant. Okay, so that's your Chariots of Fire. As we come down here, we got, oh, Sheffield Steel. That's a strong name. I like that. It's your beautiful silver. Of course, you can mix them. If you've got more than one, if you buy more than one pot you yeah. can, in a separate pot, you can mix them together. Good idea. And then we got our copper kettle, our final one, which you can just see. Lovely. Yeah. And you get the, the spatula as well. Yeah. Brilliant, and do you know what, for 9 99 It's a good kit, that's going to last you ages. Well, when you think about it, just for the flakes alone, I think you'd mm -hmm. be 9 99 yeah. a good price. Yeah, you're getting a lot of people else. decant them into bigger pots. Mm. I just don't have the space okay. to have a bigger pot. So the way you use it uh -huh. is um, you've got this um, turning nozzle here. 
Yeah. And I can't remember, but you might have to take away, um, you might have to take the whole top off and you might have yeah. to take a, a seal off first. But obviously I've used mine. And then pop a little bit onto your fat foam yeah. and get it out. There we go. There you go. Yeah. So and you, then spread it around. This is a bit scary for someone maybe start, start uh, crafting using glue on a stamp. But we're not going yeah. to be damaging the stamp. No, you're not going to be damaging the stamp because we're going to be washing it straight mm -hmm. away. Or putting it in water straight away. Yeah. So you're moving this around. You're making yourself a glue ink pad. And the first time, you can you keep on using it, you know, um, um, keep it in a bag separate somewhere where your flies aren't going to stick to it and whatever. Because yeah. as soon as this is dry, yeah. it's tacky, right? Okay. Okay. I thought, you know when you say flies aren't going to stick to it, I thought you meant like the jeans. You mean flies, actually physical flies. As, as actually, you know, yeah. bug flies, oh, yes, okay. yes. Okay, so now we're going to tap, 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 tap on the surface. Yeah. See, I've been a little bit heavy-handed there. I don't know, I don't think so. Uh -uh. You okay. get to know what you what. And yeah. The idea is to work quickly. Now, remember, we're not going to get necessarily a perfect image, and you're going to count, count to three. So we're going to go one, two, three, and off. You can't see anything. Mm -hmm. It may or may not have worked, that's why. But we'll see. Yeah, it will work, don't you Put worry. Put a little bit more on there. Yeah. And remember to oh. wipe your spatula as well, because once it's gone sticky, you've got a sticky uh, spatula. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go tap, 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 tap over mm -hmm. the surface again. Nice. And then t we don't, I can't see where I've been, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put my moon hair over that bit. Okay. And we're going to. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and off. Okay. Done. There yes. is something there. I know there okay. is. Now this stamp now is going to go into a bucket of water. Oh, watch your head. Watch your head. Yeah, mind the head. Right. So that's just going to sit there. Don't leave it for hours. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's just going to sit there. We're also going to do another one, another stamp. We're yep. going to grab this beautiful border from the um, stargazer, okay. and we're going to stamp it here and here, which I did in ink on the mm -hmm. original one. So we're going to go tap, tap, tap with this one as again. Right. Now, uh, our lovely floor manager, Molly, has just handed me some rice paper, which we are going to be playing with, but have a look at the end. Always, every time we get rice paper from Indigo Blue, it's, I have to say, the quality, Julia, they're, they're, you really feel it. It's lovely, isn't it? Leona uses that all the time. Very, very good quality rice paper, and you're getting a lot for your money. So this whole bundle, 20 sheets in total, and they are large uh, sheets. So how big are those sheets? They're A3. A3, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, of course they are. It's just double the A4. Anyway, details are on your screen there. Fourteen ninety nine. They are uh, proven to be very popular, and we will be playing with them this hour. Lovely. Right, so I've left my, left, leave your fat foam somewhere to set down, so that, um, but don't leave it somewhere you're going to put something on it. Okay. Because like any, any, that, that will stay tacky yeah. until you put something on it. Right. Okay, so we're going to grab a piece of coffee paper. Mm -hmm. Don't want that piece. Now, if you do have any questions, we'd love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. What I love about Julia is she's got no fear. So if you want to see something, we'll always give it our, our, our best to have a go, if possible. We will try it. Might not work. This might not work. But it'll be a texture. Yeah. If it doesn't work, it'll I be a texture. I think it's going to look great. I'm going to have it on my fingers because I've got okay. sticky fingers. Sorry. Right, so. So let's see. Let's see, see if we can find where it is. It's there. There's one. Okay. Yeah. There's another one. So we're just finding the images at the moment. Well, I think that's worked very well. And then we, we, we're looking here now for the grasses. The first one might not have been a, as good as the second one, but it doesn't matter because it's a texture. But do you see how how packed? It is, is well packed, isn't it? So I'm just going to decant some okay. of this back in there before yeah. I start scooching. Nice. It's a good idea to have a piece of copy paper underneath. Yeah, just so you can decant it all back in. Yeah. Uh, have you got any particular technique for your scoochie? Just circular motions. Okay. Look at that. Look oh. at that stamp. See? And I, that's I, 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 knew, I knew it would work. Julia. That, and that's on textured card. That is ridiculous. Isn't it beautiful? Seriously though, onto textured card, yeah. it's picked up all the detail and yeah. it's a massive compliment to the stamp. It is. Also the flitter glue technique. Yeah. Now I haven't seen this done before. Oh, I want to uh, give it a go, Julia. Look, 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 look. <laughs> How could you ever doubt yourself? I uh, constantly. Never. Well, you know, when I haven't done something before and, I, and after I'd, I'd stamped it and I thought, oh, I wonder how it would look like in that. And Julia, it looks you are awesome. a colossus <laughs> in the crafting arena. <laughs> Never doubt yourself. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? I think it? that is beautiful. Do you all mind right. if I pick that up and show everyone? Yeah, you can show everybody what I do with the mess. Let me okay. a flick. Okay. There we go. 
Seriously, guys, you've got to try this technique. Look at that. Ooh, Looks good, doesn't wow. it? Wow. Very happy with that. Now, come on, and just think, you've used such a small fraction of your gilding flakes from that bundle. So $9.99, you've got Chariots of Fire, Sheffield Steel, or your Copper Kettle for your gilding flakes, but you're not just getting the gilding flakes because you're also getting the scooter, you're getting the flitter glue, you're getting the, um, how are we calling that, the foam in there, and we're also getting the spatula. All of that for $9.99. Julia, I'm so impressed. We will continue okay. our demonstration. Uh, we're gonna have a quick recap for anyone who might have just tuned in. We're having a great show with Indigo Blue and Julia and we've got such goodies on the show. Now, here's the thing. We are busy for a pick and mix, but when you consider the value that you're getting, and it's also, look, value is important. If you're going to invest in something, you want to buy it at a good price. But also, I would always advise buy quality. It's that question of uh, buy cheap, you buy twice, buy once, uh, you know, quality. And look at this. You've got this fantastic red rubber pre-cut stamp but it's the detail it's just indigo blue this is why and i've just picked one up at random but just think you're getting a pick a mix of two look at the quality of the red rubber stamp that you are getting now you are saving 479 but the question is what are you going to be doing with yours you've got individual themes so the first three by the same designer and they all got that's your hair uh just showing your hair tapestry which is here then we've got our moon hair, and then you've got your hair stargazer, which we've just seen there, and there's that moon hair. So that's uh, three. Maybe you want to stick within themes, or you want to, uh, th there's a few coming up that just work so well together. Oh. This is winter is coming. You've got the, uh, the uh, grasses that Julia just used in demonstration. I love the silhouette of the tree as well. A little script stamp. Let me turn those around. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stamps. Uh, love this next one coming up. This is your wild things, real character. So you've got your main sort of hero stamp, your feature, and then you've got your sentiments in there as well, which are cool. I like the sentiments. And just down here, you can see a companion. Uh, so I would be going for, I like this one. This is Never Surrender. So the, this one and the previous one work really well together and they have got that illustra il illustration feel about it. And then we've got our butterfly, beautiful. I kind of associate indigo blue with beautiful butterflies. Let me turn this around because that is huge. As butterflies go, you imagine that on the front of a journal. Um, you're gonna make the most beautiful cards. I mean, it really is stunning. Uh, then we've got like background, that's your calm and relax. And then we've got our orchid. And then finally, we've got our giant dragonfly. But when you start playing, when you start seeing the examples actually made out, let me pick up, have a look here. So remember we have our uh, rag uh, journals. This is using the rag journals to good effect. So this is one of the rag journals. It gives you an idea of what you can do. I mean, this is absolute showstopper. Using, let's have a little look. Now this one, the way it's been made, it doesn't open up as a Constantina. I like that, so it shows you the example. So this is actually more like a traditional journal, which is absolutely stunning. Or what about, look at this. I know that both that I've picked up, they're exploring the uh, stamp. So you've got an idea of the butterfly, that's a smaller uh, butterfly stamp in there. But this is how you can be using that ragtime journal in conjunction with, I mean, there's the uh, hair, the moon hair coming through there's something really spiritual at that one it's got like spirit animal or how about this the giant uh that's a giant dragonfly the stargazer is proving popular as well i think that's is that the stargazer there yeah yeah that is there you go you can see our stargazer coming through i want to find bear with me it's worth waiting for this one i want to find the where's that other journal I trust it to be here I want to show you something. If we can get in close, I'll show you. Have a look at the detail with the stamps, because something Julia really wanted to point out. I think this is such a clever technique. Look at that. Now tell me, doesn't that look amazing? You really get a sense of the quality of the stamps. Ridiculous. And you've also got the other one there, which you can see. So there's our Never Surrender coming through. I mean, that is stunning. 
just imagine just making a photo album uh, with these, using the characters, coupled up with rag, t uh, rag journals as well. That's your pick and mix, so choose whichever uh, you like. But one thing I will say, hand on heart, quality of Indigo Blue, and it's so nice to stand here because I've worked with K Indigo Blue for years and years. Uh, I know the quality of the stamps, not just me, everyone at home. If you're a fan and you can follow Indigo Blue uh, online, it's worth doing. We'll discuss that with Julia. 19 pounds and 19 pence is your price. You're saving 479, 585, 654, your item number. Now, we've also been busy for our rag paper. So, four rag journals here. Now, you can, as uh, we were just showing demonstration, Julia just took one page if you want. What I love, though, these are individual projects. So, effectively, £2.50, you've got your very own rag journal. Go straight to it, use the stamps, use the mediums you've already got in your stash, your stencils, have some fun, create something that is amazing. But one thing to point out, this is a cotton paper. It's handmade. So, look, how much would you normally pay for handmade premium cotton paper? papers here. Uh, lovely story behind these. They are made in India. Uh, 210 GSM. What I was impressed about, and you really got appreciation of the quality and demonstration, Julia absolutely saturated, flooded the paper. It took it all. And also, when we come back to shot, I'll show you. Uh, well, well, when we come back in, I will show you something uh, going back to the quality. Now, something else we've been busy for is our rice paper we're going to be playing around with. Wow! A quarter of the stock's gone and we haven't even looked at it. Saving five pounds, 14.99 is your price, 588-985, your item number. Julia, do you mind if I just pick this up for a no, moment? I'll fine. tell you why, because you pointed this out and it's really worth seeing. So this is our rag paper, that cotton paper. Now, we saturated it, we put all those paints, and if I turn that around, any of these bits, that's just that was just left that's over from mat, that's yeah. off the mat. That has not come through no. uh, the paper, and I thought that was a good endorsement mm -hmm. of the quality. Yeah, yeah, Lovely. it's really good heavyweight paper. Okay. Right, so we're just going to add a little bit more stamping in the background because the, the background's yeah. not complete yet. Uh, so taken one of the sentiments from the floral fantasy. Uh -huh. This is. Uh, um, what mm -hmm. is it? I, I can't remember what it says, but we're, we're, we'll we'll see yeah. it when I when I okay. stamp it. And we're going to uh, just I'm going to use my oxides on here. Uh, this is a uh, vintage photo, and we're going to do first and second generation stamping nice. on it. Thank you. What is it? Just I'm curious because I know that every time the K does bring the rice papers, they sell out. Mm. What is it about the rice papers to feel them? And that's actually the first time I've actually got my hands on them. They do. You can instantly feel the quality. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, like I say, you're silly only using them. You can use yeah. them on uh, to, you know, to decoupage onto your um, your home decor projects if Good you want to, to. What Leone does, and this is what I'd endorse. Uh, so we, Leone won't use baby wipes. No. Uh, sometimes she uses like a, a tea towel. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But uh, often she uses a rice paper to mop up and create Absolutely. backgrounds. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. Really and is. I've got a piece. Um, I've got a couple of pieces. Uh, this is one of mine. Oh, wow. Um, wow. And um, you can see it on... So they are A3. Yeah, they are a good price on these as well. So, so I've stamped on this one, which is one of the demonstrations I was going to do. These, the, the butterfly and the dragonfly have been stamped onto my coloured one and then uh, use the um, slap it on mat to add them to the Wait paper. a second. So that's rice paper and then we've put yeah. that onto... Are we doing this this hour? Uh, I don't think we've got chance ah, this hour, but uh, okay. we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. That's we're an amazing technique. Yeah, yeah. It's all from Leone. You're <laughs> very talented. No, no, no. Mm. Pick, pick. What well, you pick it up from other people. That's yeah. the thing. This is a learning channel, isn't it? So I'm just going to just complete. Yeah. Uh, just in the background, I'm just going to stamp a few butterflies, nice. just with the faded jeans oxide. You can see that they're not perfect, but they're mm -hmm. just part of my background. Yeah. I really like how you describe her channel as uh, how Chandra is a learning channel. It is. It That's is. That's nice. Too. Yeah, yeah. I learn a lot from wow. it. So uh, I know you're an avid viewer. Oh, I do. Yeah, I have it. In, yeah. Now, in the talking of learning, we have had a question. Okay. Anne, thank you so much for getting in touch, Anne. So she said, with regard to the rag paper, mm -hmm. can you use alcohol inks on each side, or will it uh, will it seep through? On the rag, yeah. Um, alcohol inks work best on uh, non-porous surfaces. Mm -hmm. If you put alcohol inks on uh, a surface like this, which is a porous surface, uh, it's just going to seep in and it's not going to move around. So I mm -hmm. would expect it to go all the way through. We don't tend to use alcohol inks on on, on any sort of um, porous card okay. at all. Okay. So hopefully that answers your question. We haven't tried it, but. 
I, yes, it would go through. It would go through. I mean, yeah. it's not something I would use on this at all. It wouldn't give you that, that blend or that movement on no, there because it it's textured. It would, just, it would just seep in. But watercolours, paints, different techniques yeah, yeah, yeah. you're showing? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any water-based product is going to uh, be absolutely fantastic And thank you here. so much for your question. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. That's what we're here for, studio at hochanda.com. Right, so now we're going to go to the... Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to stamp out one of the hairs. Okay. Uh, oh, beautiful. We'll, we'll stamp out the moon hair. Okay. I've got, got them all stamped and cut out. So nice. this is um, the hot pressed watercolour card. Uh -huh. It's good, good quality. Good quality cards. There's but perfect to stamp on. Yeah, absolutely. So, so here I would lose some of my yeah. definition, um, nice. and I want it to, to really stand and out. What ink do you tend to this use? This is first fine clay. This is the pine cone one. This is okay. the uh, brown, one of the browns. Right. And so this this I could emboss, mm -hmm. uh, but we're not going to because of time. So. Lots of pressing, it's a big stamp. So, mm -hmm. whenever you're using a big stamp, keep your or use a stamp press, mm. keep one finger in and move the other one round. Okay, good technique, and then just lift. Mm -hmm. And you've got the you've got the eye. Oh. I'll turn it round. So you've got you've got the eye there, and you've got the it's it's like sitting in a in an egg kind of thing. It's very is, ornate. It's 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 quite a special stamp. Oh, is it's this beautiful. one? Do you know what we'll do? I'll pick it up and we'll just because we'll you get a bit closer. In. Now have a look at all that detail and you can pick that up as well by adding some colour uh, and giving it that form but you really get a sense of, I love how, it, it feels like a spirit animal. It does, it does, it's yeah got absolutely, that sense to it's it. beautiful isn't Very it? Very magical. Yeah. Ethereal, so, lovely. Yeah, so what I've done is That's I've beautiful. And sketch detail yeah. around the side as well. Yeah. It's got like hatching. That is a lovely stamp. Which is beautiful, isn't it? And they're mm. all in that theme. So what I've done is I've cut them all out. So nice. I mean we've got the moon gazer hair here. Oh. So so you know, you could you could have I don't know, you probably just have the sentiment That's on it. there with done. that. That, one. Looks that would fantastic. be done. Yeah. Um but we're go we're going for we go going for that. I'm gonna just do a little bit of colouring in. Not that mm -hmm. one, don't need that one. That's the wrong colour. You know, if you wanted to go for a different uh, new addition to the family or someone's pregnant, find out the good news, because it could it, it be could like be. A, a little y baby. Yeah, an embryo kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's going to be my layout, basically. Yeah. And uh, I know we've not got a lot of time left, so, so yeah. we might not finish this, but I'll just show you how you can add a little bit of colour with the paint. Nice. Um, so all we're going to do is take a little bit of paint, mm -hmm. Onto a crash sheet. Right. Uh, we are getting very busy for our rice papers. Uh, have you got another hour today? Yes, I've got one at eight o'clock. Okay. But to point out, mm, eight o'clock, you know, if we have a big surge and in between then, you never know, stuff can go, especially the rice paper and the rag paper are very busy. Right. So, so we can peel out the definition. So, so you, there's two ways you can colour it in. You can either colour it in the way that I did here which mm -hmm. is showcasing the hair yeah. or you can do it this way where you actually colour in the hair yeah. and leave some of the outsides. What so you are you feeling? Well we're going to do it that way. Yeah okay. Right. So like I've that. really watered down some townhouse teal here. Nice. And then we can do a little bit of colouring in. Okay. In fact let's go a little bit more water. I want it really watery so that it'll bounce, it'll bounce off my embossed lines because mm. I have actually embossed this and that's very wet. Mm -hmm. So it moves around quite quickly when it's like this. Yeah. And then we're going to go a little bit in here, which is actually a little bit of the tail, but we'll, we need to pick up the edge. Just defining, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. And then along here. Mm-hmm. Obviously, take your time at home. We need this, this big bit inside here. This is all background if you mm. like and you see how, how watered down you can make the the paints and yeah, they yeah. really move but again once they're dry they mm. won't move right so any blending you want to do you've got to do while that, they're yeah. wet okay up here the beautiful leaves in here and you've got that flower there mm. as well it, it, there's a heck of a lot of detail in these stamps yeah. A little bit there, and then we'll have a little bit of this ear here. This this must be a long ear, I think. Mm. Here, ear. Yeah. <laughs> here, here. Yes. So we just okay. do that there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough for now. Yeah. Okay. So so then think about. How, I mean, when I put mine on, I put it on that way. Right. But you've got that flower there. If you want to have the flower upright, then you want to have it on like that. 
Yeah. yeah. So I would also take a sponge and take a tiny mm -hmm. bit of the town as teal and actually take it around the edge mm -hmm. just to finish the edges off. Ah, oh, nice. Make them pop. Because mm -hmm. you can use them just like you would do, do use your distress ink, use your acrylic paints in the same kind of way, just to give a little bit of definition. Like that. And I will also take the same paint and go around my sentiment so it would look like it's a bit of a faux mat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I would also just pop it onto some black card. So, so this one's okay. jumping over the moon, Yeah. if you like. And if I bring in uh. my black card, we'll just do it on the overhead. Then Do you prefer him that way? I don't know really. That one's that that one's that way. I prefer that way. That one's that way. Do you think? We'd, we'd have it that way. Yeah. Like Love it. And that's just one way. No, I, I have to say, Julian, good effect using the uh, gilding flakes, the bundles we've got there, the rag paper, which were over 40% of the stock, and of course, the uh, pick and mix stamps as well. We have got such goodies on the show for you. Speaking of which, we've also got a deal of the day. Take a look at this. Deal of the day's busy. Uh, we are talking paper crafting collection, a paper pad. You've got die cuts, you get punches, and so much more. Uh, 16 packs. Do you know what? You're getting two 12 by 12 paper packs. You're getting one six by six six packets of vellum, your sticker sheets, and your two punches for $24.96. I mean, how much would you pay just for the uh, 12 by 12 pads? $24.76 for all of that. Saving a, what? 74 pounds. Very good value for money. Stock up, stock up. Okay, look, we're going to talk very quickly about our pick and mix. Uh, we have got a fantastic collection of stamps brought to you by Indigo Blue, and there is something for everyone here. One thing I do want to draw your attention to, and a, a real hallmark of Indigo Blue stamps is the detail. And that's produced because you are getting absolute premium, first-rate red rubber stamps. So let me just turn this around. Look at the depth of that stamp. So I'm going to show you here the detail of the etching. I mean, it's everything you want from a stamp. You can see that. And if I just tilt that up, you can see deeply, deeply etched, foam mounted, red rubber, pre-cut. It is absolutely everything that we want from a stamp set. And that is just one set. You are getting uh, multiple stamps on each set and you get to choose your favorite two for $19.99. I mean, look, let's just think about that because effectively less than 10 pounds per set and you're getting such wonderful stamps. I mean, that 10 pounds. Well, going along here as well. Look, okay, this one, I am, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm jumping all over the place. So uh, sorry, Chris, but just have a look at the size of this butterfly, red rubber, foam mount to pre-cut that is under 10 pounds. Uh, we're very busy for our uh, pick and mix, so go for whichever option speaks to you. Uh, just gonna show you some different ways we can use it. And again, just picking up, this is, and uh, we, we are very busy for our rag journals. So think about using your stamps and creating your own journal. So this could be an artist journal, going through, building the story. And do you see how with the sets of stamps, you're able to create that scene coming through? Love that built up that lavish detail there and then you got the little silhouetted stamps coming through beautiful and that is one journal isn't that nice or how about this one here again now we're using there's our never surrender I love that it really feels like a stamp that's just been taken from a wonderful illustrated book have some fun. Mix it up with other stamps in your collection. Put in some sentiments. I mean, I mean that, as I open it up, so this is the rag journal in its Constantina form. Now you've got different ways, because if you do glue here, you can create your own journal. But now that looks amazing, right? Doesn't that look great? 
Right, so those are just a tip of the iceberg of what you can create with these fantastic stamps. I'm gonna show you how to pick and mix. It is super simple. Uh, what will you be popping into your basket? Uh, we've got lots of goodies. You just pick your favorite two. Um, yep, yeah, butterfly, good choice. Our well, that's our basket right there. $19.19 is your price there. Okay, so we've got some more stamps. That's in great value. These are A5 stamps and you're getting so much for your buck here. Let's just turn around and show you. Look at all of those stamps for $16.99. There's the floral fancy, really, really nice. And that mandala at the bottom, which I'll just show you there. Look at that. You can stamp it twice, by the way. So you've got half there, stamp it again, you've got your full mandala uh, coming in. So there's that, and then as we move on, discover your passion. So positive sentiments, and if I turn that around, you get to see all those large, dramatic sentiments. Great for your larger pieces, your home decor. Uh, now we've got Alice. This takes you back. It's got a real vintage feel to it. I like this. Everything's got a moral, if only you can find it. And then finally, I know Julia is a massive fan of this fin final set. This is your good times going through, and I'll turn that around for you as well so you can see. Excellent. Everything in there. Uh, all of them very popular. $16.99 your price, saving three pounds, two, three, four, eight, nine, nine, your item number. Rice paper, look at all of these. And we might be playing with our rice paper next. Uh, nearly 40% of the rice paper, it feels silky soft with the rice paper. I'm not saying it's made of silk, but I'm just, just trying to give you an indication. When you get it home, you'll feel it. It is so smooth and soft, perfect to stamp with. Look, what I would say, get into a habit, stock up on premium rice paper, and it is a very, very good quality rice paper. I say we will see it in action, but get into the habit, and I know something Leone is doing and so many other crafters are doing now, is using your rice paper to mop up. And then you've got backgrounds, you've got rice papers to stamp, stamp onto uh, and decoupage, and we'll show all of those. $14.99 is your price, 588-985, your item number. Finally, we've got the Constantina Journal. So you are getting four of these. That's the basic principle. Now you can tear it down if you want into separate pages, but if you just have it as a whole, you can create that Constantina Journal. You've got the raggedy edge. What I do want to point out and what makes this so special is the fact that this is handmade cotton paper uh, made in India. So what you are getting is a beautiful premium handmade cotton paper. You can, as it's cotton, it has got a texture, but creating your backgrounds, uh, and Julia showed this to really good effect in her first demonstration, you can achieve some wonderful uh, results and looks. 9.99 is your price, 183-390, your item number. Now you can shop by brand, really simple to do. All you need to do is type in Indigo Blue and the rest is up to you. What will you be popping into your basket? What goodies have you got on your, your eye on? Uh, like stencils were busy, stamps are of course busy. Uh, paints, now there's just a few of the paints. So uh, we saw Julia using those paints and they were very, very effective. Uh, so there we go. And look, five star reviews, We've got loads of stencils. Uh, what I would say, just have an explore for yourself because it's an absolute treasure trove. Right. Yeah, just don't buy any of the pick and mix stamps off the brand shop because you want to buy them in the pick and mix because that's where the price is cheaper. Oh. Like it. Absolutely. Right. So Spoken like a true crafter. We're, yes. We're going to work on a double page. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to just do, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can do this. This is really simple to do, which okay. is, uh, we've not got long left, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be able to get this done. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to think about it, because before I didn't think about it, and he's on a higher hilly bit than he is, which, mm -hmm. and he's supposed to be in the air. But, okay. But... Um, so when we t we're going to tear a piece of paper, just copy paper, yes. and just create ourselves a bit of a, a hill or hillock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And don't throw that in the bin like I did because we need that piece. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pop this. It's not quite long enough, but it'll be all right. It'll, you know, yeah. we'll be okay. And we're going to. I've got uh, some of the Park Lane. Um, uh, indigo blue uh, paint in a mister bottle and mm -hmm. I'm just going to mist my sky. And you've got your rice paper underneath? Underneath, yeah, so it can catch it. Nice. And it's not, not a heavy um, blue, but it, it, it's, it's blue enough, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's my blue sky. Yeah. 
and this has caught all the extra bits. Lovely. You can see. So this will be a can blue sheet. Just talk to us about the rice paper just for a moment. So it's, it is pretty, pretty it's pretty tough. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. wet. Pretty tough. Yeah. Um, I tend to go in colours. So I've got I've got this one that's going to be a blue one. This is this is blues and pinks. But you can actually stamp on it and. Um, I, in fact, it's quite interesting because that's Versafine Claire, and I think my blue one's bled. It is very juicy and it's bled a bit. Mm -hmm. And this is archival, uh, which which hasn't bled, and you've got all the detail okay. there. But you've Lovely. got I've got bits of uh, metallic on here. I've got luscious powders oh. on here. Lovely. You just have okay. to remember if it's like a, a distress ink, if yeah. you put anything wet on the top, it's going to move around. Yeah. Okay. But great for your mop ups. Yeah. Right. So we're going to just give that mm. a blast. So that it's, it's dry, and then we're going to create our um, grass area underneath mm. with the other side of my mask. As you're doing this, can you show me where was the? You know, you, you I know it's a demo that you're going to be doing later on. This one. Where's the card? That's it. Can I? Do you mind if I show everyone? No, that's fine. So have a look at this, and Julia will maybe be showing this technique later yeah. on at eight o'clock. But that butterfly and that's from our pick and mix has actually been done onto rice paper so the rice paper's been colored first and then stamped on cut out and then put onto it's a not actually cut out if you it? if you wet the like you saw that where that just tore yeah if you wet the rice paper yeah you can then tear it oh okay uh, which is better you get it it, it, the, it it kind of um disappears into the background better if you tear it rather than if you cut it <laughs> Love that though, really yeah. nice technique. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm just putting my mask over here and I've got some um, peel paint, mm -hmm. uh, Distress Oxide, and you can see that it's picking up the texture of the card, which is quite nice. Yeah. Because illusion of the uh, your hills. Yeah, hills. Okay, just make sure that's all pretty covered. Okay. You can treat it quite badly. You've got five minutes. I know. <laughs> Right, disappears. Right, okay, so that's that. Then we're going to add a sun. Mm -hmm. And for my sun, what I've done is I've grabbed the Starburst, mm -hmm. which was on the pick and mix that I was on last week, yeah. stencil. And I'm just going to pop that in the corner there and take some daffodil translucent paint, which was on my shows last week. You and tend I'm to work from um, the the pot, the, the cap. The thing. lid, because I don't, I don't want much really, because yeah. it it's so highly pigmented, it's going to go mm -hmm. a long, long way. Now, if you do want to go for the daffodil, it comes in a set, and we've got the details on your screen, so really nice colours here. You've got the daffodil, that beautiful bright punchy yellow, you've got your red hot chilli, uh, and your racing green. I mean, three iconic colours. You can't go wrong with yellow, green, and red. No, and so, so here you can see with the starburst, mm -hmm. I've got a little gap there, but if you just take your paint, you can then nice. colour that, because it's a translucent. You can see mm -hmm. all those little spots underneath, yeah, I love and that. that makes your sun looking good so there's our sun yeah then what I've got is I've already gone ahead mm -hmm. so I'll just jiggle that a bit so with okay. it yeah, okay Let me help you. I'm gonna open that up for you I've got what I've Kay. yeah I've already stamped these out so you can see the detail I just used uh, Nocturne Versifying Claire these are fantastic They're tremendous stamps. stamps this is just on the watercolor card so we can have him kind of I don't know, he could go, go that way, he could be just coming into land, mm. perhaps. You can even, then, I'm, I'm going to move him back, yeah. you can even have him coming off a bit. You could, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's, he's there, he's waiting for his mate to come down. Perfect. Yeah. And then we can have the, the sentiments, so we can have, let's, let's bring him down a bit, Yanis, okay. if that's all right. Yeah, of course. So if you don't do wild things when you're young. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, this has got to go over here. I've got to think right. about all my words here. It was, you'll have nothing. Mm -hmm. We could have, still have it down here, or we could have that. Let's have that one up there this time. Oh. You'll have nothing. And you have got these sentiments on the uh, stamp? Uh, yeah, to smile about. If you buy both, mm -hmm. both of these and you pick a mix, yeah. then you'll get everything here. Well, let's think about this. This is such a nice sentiment if you don't do wild things when you're young you'll have nothing to smile about when you're old yeah the trick is to never grow up mm -hmm. and never surrender see now you're still young julie you've got to do some wild things <laughs> still young 
as if. I am going on the India trip later this year with oh, Kai and Oh, well, there you go. Day, so yeah, that's I a bit wild I expect you to uh, create some things to smile about when you're older. I'm just going to stick one down so I can just show you. Where's my glue? Okay. Oh, are we doing for time? Are we yeah, all right? Okay. Right, so let, I'll, just, I'll just put... About two minutes. Oh, yeah. I'll just put one down so you can see what I would do around it, mm -hmm. which is very easy. Yeah. It's just take a Pigma White Micron pen. Mm -hmm. I've got an 05 here. Right and then just draw around it like that. And then that will frame them. Bit of a doodle. Bit of a doodle. Yeah. And okay. that's all That's all you do. That's really easy to do, really achievable. That looks so in good. In your rag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then just edge it with some of the metallic paint. So, okay, now look, you imagine that, I'm gonna pick this up, as a page in your rag journals, and as Julie was saying, this is so achievable. So just using two of the stamps, this could be your option from the pick and mix. You're getting your sentiments in there as well. Julia showed you how to do the background. Done. That's just one aspect of what you can be doing. Are you having fun, Julia? Yeah, I love these stamps. Good. They're just tremendous. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're going to jump onto our website. Time, unfortunately, is beating us. But as I say, uh, website, great chance to get ahead, to have a little look. The glitter, uh, sorry, the um, gilding flakes, very, very popular. And look at that price. You're saving four pounds, but you're getting an awful lot for your money. Not only are you getting the gilding flakes, but you're getting so much more. The stencils were busy. Uh, paints, if you want to get hold of the paints, this gives you an idea of, uh, those are the paints. Maybe not the necessary colors Julia's been using today, but they're the paints she's been using. And that's actually, uh, Julia talked about the fact it's one of the reasons Julia wanted to work with Indigo Blue was for the paints, for the stamps, mm. and for everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Top, top quality. Um, and I haven't been disappointed with anything that I've been sent to work with because mm. it's all been absolutely amazing. Rag paper, being busy. Mm. Uh, we've also got our rice papers as well, just a premium rice paper. Now, when I say premium, I'm not saying that just, it sounds very sell silly telly, it was premium, right? But it really is, is a premium rice yeah. paper and it's always a bestseller whenever we bring it to mm. you. So take advantage. You're getting uh, 20 sheets of A3. Yeah. And, and that's and an it, awful lot. That's a, five pounds off, you know, stock up. You'll use it, use it to mop, uh, just for mopping mm. up and creating yeah. those backgrounds. Yeah. Decoupage on, fantastic. Julia, absolute yep. star. You're going to be on later on? Yeah, 8 o'clock. With Adam? With Adam, Oh, yes. you're going to have some fun. <laughs> He's a good man. Uh, Julia, always a pleasure. Are we going to get to hang out tomorrow as well? Yes, tomorrow at Perfect. 10, I believe. How do we follow Indigo Blue? How do we follow you? Uh, there's an I Love Indigo Blue uh, page on Facebook. Uh, well worth which, joining. Uh, regularly uh, is posted. And also a part of the uh, Junk Journals as yes. well. Oh, yeah, Junk Journaling and Mindful yeah. Mixed Media. Thank you yeah. so much, Julia. Thank always you. a pleasure. Oh, thank you for your company as well. Really hope you've enjoyed this show. Got another hour coming up just now. No.